So to export your custom materials to the end user, what you need to do is locate them in the file directory first. In this case, I've had to show hidden items, so we've gone view and tick the box next to hidden items to locate program data. From within there, gone to SolidWorks, SolidWorks 2017, and then the custom materials folder. In this case, I'm exporting the file, uh, the custom materials file via email. But in another case, in a company where you're trying to share materials across the company, you might just want to put it on a network location, so you could just uh, copy the file into a network location. But anyway, in this case, what I've done is I've emailed it to the end user and then downloaded it onto their PC. Now, just going into SolidWorks first of all, uh, I'll just show you that the custom materials currently available is just a, a folder of plastics. Now, to import the new custom materials, click on the settings button, the little cog, and go to file locations on the left hand side. This is under system options. Then, from the drop down menu, select material databases. Here you will need to locate the folder which you have put your custom materials file in. So in that case I just selected the downloads folder where I downloaded it to. Now I've ticked that all off and said OK. I should go be able to go to edit materials and see that in the custom materials folder I have the example custom materials that I've imported in.